Why We Stop Playing D&D with the Weeaboo by user Revolutionary Basket 7. Is that really even a, like, is any even point in the like, we, <laughs> we all know why. We all know why, but like, let's, let's I've just, read enough of these stories uh, to know we, why. We, we know what we're getting into, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. So my brother, a few of his friends, and my partner have been a bit deprived of D&D, as we would start a campaign and then never finish it. When I was originally introduced to D&D, a person we shall call Weeaboo was the DM, and we were running a Curse of Strahd game, and things were pretty fun. It was my first game ever and we ended up stopping because of commitments. But overall, he was a good DM that campaign. However, when he played as a player, shit got weird. It was the first time I played with him as a player. Campaign was out of the abyss. And Weeaboo played a changeling rogue that seemed to want to have sex with every female NPC and PC via manipulating them with his shape-shifting and creating his little in-game harm. Oh, God. What a, like, I'm sorry, but like change gun seems to attract the worst type of people, and so do rogues. And I'll have that you know I am currently playing a rogue, so so you know that's the worst type of human being. <laughs> 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 so you know it's the, only the worst of the worst ever play them. The, the DM must have wanted to see where this was going, as Weeaboo had half suggested a dry. He was trying very hard to murder him, and the rest of the party was coming along because we naturally thought Weeaboo was in danger, as we try not to meta game. Still, we had to sit through a good three minutes of Weeaboo trying to basically turn the game into a near hentai experience, with our DM trying to almost actively get the rogue killed. Thankfully it was over when my tiefling wizard killed the dry and got Weeaboo's character the heck out of there. Without hesitation, he then tries to seduce my character, whom I've repeatedly stated that she was like 12, 14. God. Oh god. I- why are you playing 12, 14 year old? Yeah, I know. Honestly, I feel like I should be judging you now just as harshly. It was finally when he started making fanfic between all the characters that we all backed out and dropped the campaign. <laughs> Being a good person, I try to be. Weeby said that he had made a homebrew campaign since the last two had flopped. And he was a pretty decent DM in Curse of Strahd, so I trusted him. Which was a big mistake. First off, almost his entire world was populated with goddamn Nikos. Goddamn cat pink girls, fur! <laughs> cat girls, we! <laughs> oh god, please don't make that noise. That's a horrible noise. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> the worst thing is you can do it very well. I know, that's, that's, what, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what, what scares it, me. That's what, that's what makes it worse. Secondly, we had to help them because of some kind of oppression, and our entire party really couldn't care less about them. Considering a bloody horde of them ambushed us and actively seemed to want to kill my tiefling rogue fighter. I have a problem with that race, I know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It was when I thought that me trying to use my rogue skills to sneak into camp of bandits and thieves is when I realised the horde mistake I had made. I was somehow caught despite rolling a natural 20 for stealth. (laughs) Weeaboo only gave me the option to flirt with the bandit to get out of there. Then after being dragged into a tent, I was then quickly fudged every damn roll he threw at me. And before I knew it, Weeaboo started to DM me and was grinning as he described in vivid detail of my character being raped. Like, like, guys, you know, you, you, you know where this was going, you know. Let's not get help. ourselves. Oh, the shocking horror of it all, you know. My brother's homebrew tiefling sorcerer had apparently helped her skip after I'd left the table because I knew I was about to throw up. Then my brother, partner, and my brother's friend leapt away from that campaign as fast as we could after that session, and Weebu complained that we barely started. <laughs> Wait, if Wait. you only start and somebody's getting raped, get the hell yeah, out of Dodge, because no, I know. Uh, like, it's one of those ones, it's a poor choice to hang about in yeah. that situation. If you guys aren't up for that, if you aren't into that sort of thing, don't hang about. No, because stand up that's and a really bad say sign. your goodbyes. And, uh, like, if, you, if you're only starting as well, come on, let's try not to kill ourselves. It's not going to get better. No. It's not going <laughs> to no. get better, guys. I definitely didn't want to have to be there, and I'm the person who likes to roleplay characters in tabletop roleplaying games, so no way in fuck was I going to roleplay that shit for Weeaboo's entertainment, considering he had a history of wanting to get characters pregnant. Wait, wait, hold on, want to get characters pregnant? You need, you need to tell us about this beforehand? I know, <laughs> well, no. 
they already knew about it. He yeah, says. they so already did. they kind of already knew what they were getting into. You, you know, you know the problem is whenever it comes to stuff like this, it's always it's always come down to fetish bait. That's the glaive of this is, bait. and it's always just for the like you know not kink shaming guys, no, but no, like but ninety percent of the, the time, whenever people are like DMs are forcing this into their games, it's because they basically just want to go home and wank about it later. <laughs> Like, yeah, tell, and tell their notes, along. they're recorded under the table. Oh god, the heavy bleeding. <laughs> if it's over, over Discord, they've definitely got OBS. I'll oh, open, yeah. like, you know, they're recording you. Yeah. I think the only thing I'm glad about that experience with Wabby is when we begrudgingly let him play in a homebrew my brother's friend made, which we're playing, and Wabby was playing his seducing rogue again. When I find this out, I may have botched my strength stat a bit so I could make a big, beefy dragonborn fighter, who was an honourable man, and essentially the protector of the party before my partner's sister's BF turned up as a paladin. Weeaboo stopped playing when his rogue got annoyed that I stopped him from hitting on our dumpster child of a dry warlock, who was also my partner, hence why I was a bit extra pissed off, other than the underage bullshit. And my dragonborn effectively turned Weeaboo's character into a burnt paste after a few rounds of combat, because constitution was Weeaboo's dump stat, and I don't think he even bothered with armour. Revenge has never felt so sweet in a tabletop role-playing game, but my word of advice to be taken from this is make sure the Weeaboo makes a character and slash or campaign that isn't trying to get everything that breathes. Better yet, just keep the hentai watching Weeaboo away and out of sessions for everyone's sanity. See, I feel like I'm lucky I've never actually experienced this. No. So, you know what I think I would do in this situation? I think I would just turn up to 11 and I would leak the leapist. (laughs) <laughs> <It ripped. laughs> I think that's what I would do in this situation. Oh my god! <laughs> like, you know, there's always I a bigger that thing. The t-shirt. <laughs> I'd turn it up to eleven. I'd turn and it, turn that shit up to eleven. What's that? What's that? Star Wars mean? There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> 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 you know, you yes. know, sometimes you just got to turn that shit up. I'm like, you know, I gotta ask the boys. Like, you know, I'm not like you guys know. We're not the biggest anime fans. We watch some stuff. Like, you know, me and Megan were watching that Studio Ghibli not all that long ago. Yeah. It was actually quite enjoyable. You know, and I'm really, I'm trying to, like, really give anime a bit of a chance. I'm not. But I'm really sorry to say, but what is it with hentai and being so fucking depraved? I know! Like, tell, tell, tell me why. Like, uh, like, right enough, why is it actually the most No, actually, you know what? He, he Don't tell me. Act. Don't okay, tell yeah. me. Look, okay. Um, <laughs> that's enough for that one. Um, that's going to be our next story, which next story. Um, probably won't be any better. Yeah, let's be serious. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Guest DM ruins my character's backstory with her fetish by user BadRPThrowaway2015. So this was my first experience with D&D. I'd seen the community and wanted to try it out. Found a group through work. 5th edition had just came out at the time, and our DM was more than comfortable with 3.5 edition, so we played that. I decided I want to play a druid because I like the aesthetic. I didn't think through the rest of my character too much since I just wanted to learn how to play, so I went with the generic orphan backstory, and trusted my DM to expand on that if he decided to. That's a a really good base, if you don't know about D&D, that's a a really good base just to go in and... um, learn how to play as they say it's hard enough to try and learn how to play you know yeah, if, as far as it goes but it's like a bog standard backstory yeah you can't really go too long with it although most people are very sick of my dead parents <clears throat> you know yeah. what I mean but but for a first kind character you know it's, it's not, easy it's, it's not easy bad. yeah exactly we played with a party of five one couple that I worked with this is relevant only because our fifth dropped off halfway through and the couple invited a friend of theirs who said she'd played before a few months after she joined, our DM had to take a week off and asked her to DM since she was the most experienced of us. The session that she guest DM'd started off with finding a tavern in the city we've arrived at. Guest DM described the tavern, the bartender, and the barmaids, and the other patrons as well as the menu. Fairly normal so far. 
Then she described a pretty woman also in the tavern that seemed fixated on my character. I took the bait, which I deeply regret. Now, our game had always been sexual, but in a fade to black way. But not this time. The guest DM described how this woman led my character upstairs and then undressed me. And then described very graphically the foreplay, the actual deed itself, and then our encore. I felt uncomfortable with this level of detail, but it didn't look like anyone else at the table did, so I didn't speak up. Then I sat for maybe half an hour in silence as the guest DM roleplayed with the rest of the party. Eventually the rest of the party also retired upstairs. The guest DM turned to me. You wake up in the middle of the night, she said, reaching for the beautiful woman but realising she is no longer tangled in your embrace. You notice an intense heat on you and you turn to see the woman standing at the foot of the bed, but now red-skinned. You blink and suddenly she has horns and wings. Okay, I thought, so this woman is a succubus. Cool. And then the guest DM goes on. You've grown up to be a fine man. Wait, hold up. Is this going where I think? I'm I'm so glad that I find you. I'll never let you go again. You're home now. And Wait, she, hold Oh my up. god, did he fuck his mum? Orphan fucked mum. That's how she sucked your bus. So is he a teeth then? Video, 18 minutes long. Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a up video. Why is this not a thing, actually? There's enough people that want, like, you know, that, that seem to be into it. They might destroy just we come across. Why is that not a thing by now? And she goes on, blah, 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 and reveals that this succubus that my character slept with is actually his long lost mother. I straight up said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but no one else at the table seemed revolted, just surprised in an interested way. The session ended afterwards on this cliffhanger reveal. I texted the DM later. He didn't know about the guest plans, and this definitely wasn't the backstory he planned for my character. But his stance was, what's done is done and he didn't want to disrespect the guest DM by retconning her session. I told him I didn't feel okay with my character committing incest, and he said sorry, but I knew he didn't really care. I talked with the couple later in the week, and they thought it was hilarious, and I was taking it too seriously. So I quit the game. I wasn't okay with my character being misled to commit incest. This person's clearly never been on the homepage of Pornhub. Oh yeah, like this, this just sounds like never. honestly the homepage of Pornhub. Oh, mom got stuck in the dishwasher And now she's again. a succubus. Ah! <laughs> Shaky cam finish. Oh, oh, son, what are you doing? Oh, n- n- nothing. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And I wasn't okay with the grip where half the members were friends with a guest DM and would side with her. I got flack at work from the couple for a bit, but they eventually let it go. That's the story of my first game, where my character's blank slate story came back to bite me in the butt. TLDR. Guest DM makes my character unknowingly fuck his mum. Regular DM is okay with it. Yeah. Like, what do you really like, put on that, be honest with you? I just, like, seriously, developments like this, like, first of all, big backstory stuff should not be done by a guest DM. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Like, it really shouldn't be, you shouldn't be throwing that stuff out there yeah because it really is going to affect you the rest of the game no yeah. matter what yeah you know um pff, what do you do with that honestly you know what guys if there's any like you know people that do like poor like amateur porn out there um throw yourself on a pair of horns yeah do like some succubus you'll stuff. get in the niche I, honestly, fucking, and, and I think it'll fucking sell i think it'll sell like, like get, honestly it's probably out there it probably it's is fucking out there. everything in there. like you know um, it's probably out there it probably is but look there seems to be enough people that seem to want this type of stuff that uh, like business venture for you guys any entrepreneurs out there we get half the cuts though yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> he knew we were going to get into the porn game <laughs> <laughs> but no uh, let us know what you thought about this here's story um, I preferred the first one personally I thought the first one was a bit more yeah my forte I, bef- I, I, I thought it was a bit more fun but this yeah. one was quite good as well yeah um, if you guys have ever had any like you know unfortunate like guys can I I, I, just, like, like, I just don't want to have sex I just don't want to have sex it's like no you're fucking having the sex you know what I mean <laughs> do like, the dirty do the dirty do the dirty so I can whack off you later fucking do it, do it. And, you know, that's kind of what it feels like a lot yeah. of the time in yeah. these stories to me anyway I don't know what it feels like to you guys but like, let us know if you've ever been forced into a situation where it's like, please don't make me play with my pee pee. Please, <laughs> please, help. Yeah, let us know down below, and um, if we get enough of them, we'll probably make a video. Yeah. Also, those are titties. It's a thing. It's in stock. That's a, yeah. That's a thing. Check yeah. out the adverts. Check out the link down below for the website. Website. Um, uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye.